can pretty much distress your pants however you want. But there's some little tips that it's a big old no no. So there's some tips that I have good for you guys of how to just how to actually wear the distress pants with any type of top or pants or hat. So my personal style, I'm that person that really loves like urban style. I like wearing like a lot of shit that it's kind of a, an alley urban style. It's now I'm a little bit different. My little taste is a little bit different. A little technique for you guys of how to make your baggy, big, big fucking junky pants look up here slim and skinny from the bottom waist. Well, not from the bottom waist, but from like almost your toes. It, it kind of looks like it's strength because this is a little technique. Watch. I'm going to show you guys a video of how to do it. From the bottom of the pants, what you could do is if they're really baggy, from the bottom of the little part, you could get bend down and actually twist it. And then once you twist it, once it gets tight from around your your leg, your hamstrings, that's when you actually you twist it and then you rolled it up. So it could hold the position, it could hold the pressure of the twist of it. And let me just tell you, baggy pants, you kind of look ridiculous. That was my style back in, I think, freshman year. and Yeah, freshman year. And, uh, and I look back, god damn it, I don't know who let me dress like that. <laughs> Learn how to properly overlay your clothing when you're using denim pants because honestly if you know how to properly overlay your own clothes it's gonna look badass it really will and it looks pretty legit long t-shirts are kind of round from either both or both sides i really recommend you guys i'm wearing a denim long sleeve shirt from h&m i believe and the other t-shirts from H&M as well so you see it's a good combination I'm using the denim pants black shoes the same, almost a similar color. Try to blend in like the pants with the overlay as well. It'll actually blend in good and it'll look like, you know how you got your color correction shit? You don't need video editing for that shit. You look popping ass fuck. If you don't know how to overlay your clothing, it's just, it's just gonna look like if you're gonna have, um, cause mostly all the concentration will be in your upper body. Like you're gonna be overlaying. So you kind of look a little bit, it, it pops up more. It's more of, you're using more clothing so it pops up. But if you're actually gonna use a baggy damn pants, with the clothes, it's just not gonna look right. It really isn't gonna look. Try to avoid using big baggy pants and with big overlay clothing because it doesn't look right. I recommend you guys, if you're gonna use overlaying clothes, try to use a t shirt and the shirt that I'm displaying right now. Try to synthesize your pants to make them skinny because, uh, if you have them baggy, it'll kind of create a big old focus point to the jeans when you're trying to focus more on the upper body so overall if you actually get skinny jeans and uh over uh, overlay they're big so it kind of creates a focus point to look forward you look at you look at your style first and then going down and you actually it actually makes you a little bit taller when you do that so that's a big old tip right there i think so i don't know that just came uh, that's just my own guess it's not a fact Really, this is one of the best tips I can give you guys. Feel comfortable what you're wearing. Why? Because I remember when I was, I did, I did not start in my style. I was actually dressing like kind of a, let's just say, a, a wannabe gangster. I was like dressing with long t-shirts, long baggy shorts, or long baggy pants, and then some pair of white or black Nikes. <sighs> now that I look bad, it's pretty, I pretty, pretty much regret it. it this is my personality and I love dressing this way, but at first it wasn't that easy because people were like, oh, you're dressing this certain way, it doesn't look right. Their vision and their opinion of how they want you to dress, but no, be yourself. If, if you actually like the way you dress and you feel comfortable, keep dressing that way. Because it, let me tell you, if you don't have confidence, confidence is key. And if you don't feel comfortable in your own clothing and the way you dress, the way you present yourself, it's it sucks, man. You are dress however you are be your own person because there's not another person like you in these other world you're unique you're the only person so yeah feel comfortable however you want to dress because fuck everyone fuck what everyone thinks fuck their opinions Send la verga. Uh, oh, uh, oh uh, bring up your your style game a little bit of like you know what it'll bring up your salsa on like man just be yourself Send la verga. fight me See, saw my reflexes. Shit, feel comfortable. You can avoid all these haters. I don't know what the fuck I'm doing, but yeah, that was it for the video. Go down to the video, the link in the description to go watch how to distress your own pants. 
Dale, pulele, hurry up, hurry up. I'm still waiting for you guys. I'm gonna find out. I could check the views if you guys have watched it or not. So go down to the link in the description, watch the video. And if you guys wanna watch it again, come back and watch this one to swag up your own game. So you wanna style up your game, you wanna bring it up, make you feel comfortable, bring up your confidence, come to my videos. This is the channel to go to bring up your game, bring up your style, bring up your sexiness, tu suavemente, lo sexy, bien papi by papi chulo. So yeah, that was it for the video. I'm actually bringing up a new video next week, so if you guys wanna stay tuned for that, and that's gonna be it, so I want, I'll see you guys in the next video. Dale. I'd like to have dessert for starters. Tell me, baby, can you take my order?